I'm Robert McKenzie. Marquise Flemings. Best of Wednesdays. Yes, sir. We back. Man, it's been a second. It's it's been a while. We've been grinding. Grinding hard. All right, so it would it would only be right that we share with them like kind of some of the stuff we've been grinding on. Okay. Right? All right. So so we got the, the Best Skills Academy. Yeah. Right? The the middle school program, mm-hmm. independent middle school program. We got the uh, high school learning center. Yeah. We have ten students now. Set ten students. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we got seven we got seven middle schoolers. Yeah. Three high schoolers. Yeah. The grind continues. Hey, it's, it's, it's for real. So so sometimes people ask, what's the difference between Best Skills Academy and all these other schools, right? All right. But besides besides it being ran by, by two beautiful black men. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, besides that, yeah. uh, it's one number. 180. 180, man. 180 hours of mentoring is what these kids receive. Because you know what? They get an hour every day. Every day. Every school day, they get an hour. Probably get more than that. They they formal, formal. mentoring, 180 hours. Facts. Informal, thousands. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah, do the math yeah. on that one. Yeah, me either. Yeah. So, 180 days. Yeah. Uh, one to 10 uh, teacher to student ratio. Yeah. Right, we have a holistic uh, approach to education. Yep. Right, we don't we don't just deal with academics, mm-hmm. the mentoring part. Yeah, because you're the one that, that that helped me understand. Like, if kids got something else going on, yeah, they know they want to be their focus. Man. They don't care about that, they right? Really don't. So, so that approach though has allowed us. What what kind of gains have we seen with our middle schoolers? We got a kid to come in and uh, last year on a third fourth grade math level. Now he's in uh, algebra. And he's an eighth grader, so you know those those big jumps. And I think, like you said, you, you having that wrap around uh, services when it comes around, like yo, yo, I'm gonna make sure you you straight mentally, uh, you you have what you need to be successful. Everything else academically falls in place. So you know, as long as you meet those basic needs, man. Yeah, we've been knocking them out. Math, yeah. math and reading. The average kid, they've improved their math and their reading by two two years. Yeah. Um, so we've had kids come in on a sixth graders coming in on third grade reading level, yeah. and now they're on a fourth or fifth grade reading level. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've increased. Uh, we've had some kids come in GPAs less than a less than less a than one. one, less than one, less than and one. And we we get them up by one point in in one year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had a kid uh, GPA. He's been with us two years now, uh, off and on. GPA was like a one point seven. Now it's a three point four, something like that. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, you know, but it, it's, it's the grind and, and we prepare them for the grind and uh, we try to motivate them and, and keep the head straight. So our surveys, because we do surveys, right? You, yeah. you got to have measures. So our mm-hmm. surveys for our mentoring show that 83% of our students, they feel more financially literate after one year here. Yes, sir. And, and the parents and students, they see increases in confidence, mm-hmm. problem solving, communication skills and overall satisfaction. We're hitting 100 percent. Of course, of course, 100 no percent. I also feel like we we see some increase in critical thinking too, man. I mean, I know that's probably not one of the measures we measure, but I think when it comes to uh, critical thinking, the kids are starting to think on their own and mm-hmm. starting to be able to do uh, some problem solving through critical thinking. So yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, in April. April. April, we're going to have a, a big uh, fundraising campaign. Yes, sir. We want you guys to partner with us. Yeah. So so stay locked in to the social medias yeah. and all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. So C.S. Lewis. Yeah. All right. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I was, I was talking to my wife and I was like, hey, why was the Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe? Do you know? She told me she was like, "It's none of your business." Yo, <laughs> you get it? The garbage can like Narnia. Business. None of your bitch trash. Right. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> we out. <laughs>